Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Pyle. I'm the Senior Curator of Ichthyology here at Bishop Museum. I study fishes. The day in the life of an ichthyologist usually begins with waking up excited about what's on the agenda for the day. In fact, all scientists, that's why scientists love being scientists, is they wake up in the morning excited about what they're going to do. So an ichthyologist's life involves several parts of it. Part of it is spending time in the field, going out on expeditions, in my case using high-tech gear to go deep scuba diving, explore unexplored coral reefs, collect specimens, photograph them, get tissue samples, record all the data we can about them, get videos of them in their natural habitat. That's what we do out in the field. And I would say when on a normal year, not a pandemic year, but on a normal year, we spend about three months a year in the field and the rest of the time back at the lab. So what we do back in the lab is we carefully go through all the specimens we collected. We process them, we preserve them properly at the museum, in jars of alcohol. We take additional data about them, careful measurements. In many cases, they're species we know very well and we put labels on them and add them to our fish collection, but in some cases, we can't identify them. And the ones we can't identify, we spend time looking at the literature, looking at old publications, trying to figure out what these species are. And either we eventually figure it out or we come to the conclusion this is a brand new species. This is a fish no one has ever seen before. And at that point, we look at those specimens much more carefully. We take lots of detailed notes about their color, their scales, their fins, their spines, their mouth parts, all sorts of anatomy. We get their DNA sequences and study them. And then we synthesize all this information. We write a manuscript, a publication that we send out to a peer-reviewed journal. And through a process that's fairly well formalized, that publication gets published, and then that new species finally gets its official scientific name. I've worked here at the museum for 34 years, so I've been here a long time. And I have to tell you something. I have never been as excited or optimistic about our future as I have ever been in all my years working here. We have a new vision. We have tools and facilities and capabilities that I only dreamed of for many years. Now is the time to make this push to get Bishop Museum into the global stage of scientific research and activities that truly will change how the world works. So when we hear that out, people outside our field, outside our world, are supporting us and providing us contributions to keep us going, it makes us realize that we're not just doing this because we love doing it. We're doing it because it matters. It matters not just to us and other scientists, it matters to everyone. So your support encourages us to keep enthusiastic and motivated to get out there and do the best we can to understand this natural world around us because it's not just important to us, it's important to everybody. Please join us now, we need your help.